Welcome to Tab Briefs, a weekly look at headlines from the world of faith for November 27, 2020. Today we're bringing you a special Thanksgiving edition of Tab Briefs, so thanks for joining us. In a Thanksgiving blog post in November 2017, Billy Graham wrote on the topic of how to be thankful in all things. This is what he said. From one end of the Bible to the other, we are commanded to be thankful. In fact, thankfulness is the natural outflowing of a heart that is attuned to God. The psalmist declared, sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Paul wrote, be thankful. A spirit of thanksgiving is always the mark of a joyous Christian. Why should we be thankful? Because God has blessed us and we should be thankful for each blessing. Graham went on to suggest areas of life where we can express gratitude. And in that spirit, today we bring you three of those suggestions, each with a story. Suggestion number one, thank God for the material blessings that he gives you. Many of us have a favorite Bible that we carry to church and read regularly, while a dozen others sit elsewhere in the house gathering dust. Chances are you've got some old Sunday school literature or Christian books laying around as well. Meanwhile, Christians all over the world pray daily to get their hands on any copy of Scripture, new or well used. Many American Christians are unaware of how how dire the need for Bibles is in developing countries, where pastors may not even have their own copy of God's Word, or an entire church may share one copy. An organization called Love Packages works to address that issue, placing donated Bibles and gospel-based literature into the hands of pastors and other Christians throughout the world. Love Packages hopes to send at least 2,020 tons of Bibles, Bible study materials, Christian music CDs, and other resources across the globe by the end of 2020. Love Packages needs donations of materials, but volunteers are also needed. There's a warehouse in Decatur, Alabama, where you can drop off materials and help unload and pack donations. In this socially distanced holiday season, it could be just the missions project your church is looking for. Go to lovepackages.org to learn more and follow the link in today's show notes to find out how TAB is helping reach the 2020 goal. Suggestion number two, thank God for the people in your life. Earlier this month, we saw on Facebook that two students at Alabama State University were baptized at Strong Tower at Washington Park in Montgomery. The students are part of Real Talk Campus Ministry, led by Zach Beasley, who serves as Baptist Campus Minister at ASU. One of the students, Ariel Sanders, said this, I thank God for bringing me to Alabama and surrounding me with people who helped me grow in my faith. All praises to God for allowing me to be new within Him. And Crystal Shabalala, an ASU student from Zimbabwe, said, I'm thankful for His amazing grace that saved me and His faithfulness in providing me with a community of loving Christians. I'm also thankful for a church I can call home. It was truly special to publicly declare my faith in Him and share how the Lord has been working in me. You can read more about Zach Beasley and how ministry at ASU and other historically black colleges and universities in Alabama is supported by your gifts through the cooperative program. That link will also be in today's show notes. And suggestion number three, thank God in the midst of trials. A few weeks ago, we read the story of Pearl Joy Brown, a child diagnosed in utero with a debilitating disorder. The Pearl Brown story is available free online, and it's a 17-minute documentary about Pearl's life and her family's decision to let her live. In the film, Eric and Ruth Brown share their account of welcoming their daughter into the family despite her grim diagnosis. They share how their Christian faith guided their decision-making and provided comfort as they mourn the death of their young daughter. Jason Thacker, creative director of the film, said his team wanted to tell the Brown family's story in a way that honored Pearl's life and helped to shine a light on the pain of losing a precious child so young. Thacker said, Even though Pearl's life was always going to be short, God used her in amazing ways to proclaim the value of every person. The Pearl Brown story is available on YouTube, and I'll include the link in today's show notes. Those are your tab briefs for November 27, 2020. 
Yesterday, of course, was a day set aside for giving thanks, and Tab Media is grateful for each of you who faithfully support our mission of delivering trusted, faith-based news. For those who follow Christ, every day should be a day of thanksgiving, of always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We invite you to share what you're grateful for today in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining us today and happy Thanksgiving.